Well, hello, my fellow lupus warriors all around the world. Welcome to another video. Today is such a beautiful day in the great state of Michigan. It is April 12th. And get this, it is 80 degrees here today. You can't beat this. What a beautiful day. But I didn't jump on here to talk about the weather. I jumped on here to share, want to share with you guys my good news. And the good news is, I've always wanted to participate in one of the 30-day challenges that you find uh, online. And I've never had the opportunity or had the time to really say, well, I'm going to dedicate 30 days to this challenge. I wanted the challenge to pique my interest, and I wanted the challenge to be something that would stretch me just enough out of my comfort zone. And so I found one. The opportunity, you know, lent itself, and I jumped on board. So my good news is, is that I am participating in a 30-day prayer, health, and healing challenge. And so get this, the foundation for this, this is really what pulled me in, are these two scriptures. The foundational scriptures are, whatever you eat and drink, do it unto the Lord. And the second one is, your body is the temple of of the Holy Spirit. And so what is this 30 day challenge of prayer, health and healing? What does it consist of? And as you can see, I have my t-shirt here. I got this t-shirt to remind me of the first part of this challenge, which is to pray 30 days nonstop for 45 minutes to an hour. Okay. Some of you may say, what are you going to talk about every day for 30 days? for 45 minutes to an hour you'll be surprised at what you can talk about to God for 45 minutes to an hour you know first of all you can tell him all the things that you're grateful for that you're thankful for um, you can petition you can supplic you know uh, lay out your petition your supplications in your prayers your desires any issues any concerns that you have you can bring those up during that 45 minutes to an hour of prayer time uh, you can also pray unselfish prayers. It doesn't have to always be about you. You can pray for others. Pray for their situations. You'll be surprised at what you can talk about to God for 45 to for 45 minutes to an hour. And get this, prayer is not just us talking all the time. You know, prayer also consists of listening. Listening. And so it's an exchange. Communication is an exchange. There's talking and then there's listening. So that's part one, 30 days of prayer. The second part is 30 days of moving your body. You know, whatever you can do. You know, if you can walk, run, go to the gym, lift weights, swim, ride your bike. Uh, even if you just get up and move your body just by stretching, you know, it's 30 days of moving your body. And the third part of this challenge is you have to give up something that you know that you're doing that's not beneficial to your body, which is the temple of the Holy Ghost. You have to give up something. It's in, you know, it has to be something that's going to challenge you. And so what I decided to give up is everyone who knows me knows that I have a bit of a sweet tooth. And so my 30 days, I've decided to give up all sweets. That means no cookies, no cakes, no candy, no ice cream, no pies. Um, and so it's day 12 and I'm still going strong. I thought giving up the sweets was going to be the biggest challenge for me. But it has not been. Um, the first two days, yes, the turtle brownies, the ice cream was calling me. But it's day 12 and no sweets have touched these lips. And so I am very, very happy with that. The biggest challenge for me, it has been the prayer time. You know, this is the first time. I mean, I pray every day, but this is the first time that I've ever really sat and you know, prayed for 45 minutes to an hour. And uh, like I said, you know, 
once you get to talk and there are so many things that you can talk about to God and you know that he's listening and he wants to hear, he's interested in what's going on in your life and he's interested in your concerns. But the challenge for me has been distractions, staying focused on this prayer time. Um, during my prayer time, I'm finding myself, you know, all kinds of distractions. And I know it's the enemy. It's just hitting me with all kinds of distractions. My mind gets to thinking about my to-do list, what I'm going to eat, uh, calling a friend, just all kinds of stuff. And so I am asking him to really take away all distractions to help me to focus, to realize that, you know, I'm showing up and making this time with him a priority. Because as you know, you know, making him the most important part of your day is very beneficial. Taking God on as your partner for your day, your week, your year, your life, it has so many benefits, you know. It makes your day go by much smoother. And so I'm just asking him to help me so that I will not be so distracted. That has been my biggest challenge, if I must be honest, you know. Um, and so, you know, I wouldn't do that to a friend. You know, if they were sitting next to me, I wouldn't be half in, half out. I wouldn't be on my phone. I wouldn't be thinking about my to-do list. You know, I would be intently listening and contributing something important to the conversation, something beneficial, uh, asking good questions, you know, um, giving great feedback. And so that's something that, you know, if I can do that with a friend that's sitting next to me, then I should also be able to do this with my Heavenly Father who cares for me and you know, like I said, prayer is not just talking all the time, but it's also uh, listening, you know. So I'm asking him to order my steps, to guide my feet, uh, to help me to make this a priority, you know, in my life. And, you know, once this challenge is over, you know, they say once you do something for 7 to 14 days, it becomes a habit. So all these things that I'm doing, the prayer, the moving my body, and, you know, the eating healthy, you know, this is something that I want to incorporate for the rest of my life, you know, because this body is the temple of the Holy Spirit and whatever we eat and drink, it should be unto the Lord and it should be, uh, you know, not just putting anything in the temple, but whatever we put in the temple, it should be to nourish it, to care for it and to strengthen it because if your temple is not strong, then it's going to impact the rest of your life. Other areas of your life are not going to be uh, strong. And if we're not taking care of the temple, then how are we to fulfill our purpose, you know, the plan that he has for our life? How are we to show up for our destiny, you know, if our temple is not strong? If the temple is not strong, that means you're not going to be able to be faithful. You're not going to be able to complete the race and run the prize, win the prize, you know, for the high calling in Christ. You're going to be too tired. You're going to be too tired. You're not going to be faithful. You're not going to be focused if you're not taking care of this temple, which means eating right, giving up some things, drinking plenty of water, moving your temple, getting enough sleep. And so if you're not able to do that, if you're not taking care of this body that you've been given to take you through this life, and for my lupus warriors, this body that we've been given to take us along this journey towards health, remission, and possible healing, which nothing is impossible with God. But if we're not taking care of the temple, how are we going to make it on this journey? How are we going to hear the words you know, from our Heavenly Father, in which says, well done, my good and faithful soldier. You know, how we're going to honor, honor him with our lives. You know, uh, he tells us that if we're faithful over a few things, then we'll be ruler over many things. And how can you be faithful over anything if you're all worn out and tired and you're not taking care of yourself? So, I just want to encourage you on today that if there's, you know, any 30 day challenges out there that piques your interest and you want to participate, I want to encourage you to go for it. Stretch yourself. Step out of your comfort zone. 
You know, go for those, go for that 30 day challenge. Not every challenge is for everybody, but this one here is for me. And I must say it is a stretch, but I'm enjoying every single moment of it. You know, it has its ups and downs, you know, um, and it has its challenges. That's what a 30 day challenge is to challenge you. But in the end, I will be all the better for it. Okay, so I will keep you updated on how things are going for me with this 30 day of 30 days of prayer, uh, health and healing. And I wish you guys all the best. You know, have a great night. Stay blessed. I'll talk to you soon on the next video. Bye. Love you guys.